Hi everyone, this is Dr. Minu. I'm in West Hartford, Connecticut. Today I'd like to share about how to uh, improve immune system. Improve immune system, that means immune system have to be balanced. Either you have a weaker immune system or you have a overactive immune system. That I mean, either way it can cause problem. But you have to know who am I, who you are. It can be related to the kidney and spleen, young energy excessive, too much. Or your kidney energy, young energy run low. And that's called who am I practice. You have to know yourself, then you can go better balance. Can be spleen or kidney, energy or balance. Then why our kidney and spleen energy get deficiency uh, can be a uh, result of long-term stress or chemical overload in, from your food or antibiotic prescription. Any chemical is Overdose is the cause of the disease because it's toxic. One minute, uh, antibiotic is uh, the drug. It's uh, toxic, and every body can handle so much. Plus, the food they overload antibiotic too. That means the food you eat, you have to be careful. See, you have to know what you're doing, like the pork, the fish, swim, they might use antibiotic and chemical and you don't know. Plus, fluoride is a chemical in the water, can be fluoride is, a, is in the antibiotic prescription too, and can be in a toothpaste and she up overload of any type of chemical can be afraid on the immune system. What I mean afraid? Like it's what well, we affected to what's the number one I see is the kidney and spleen. Young and it's run low after uh, antibiotic treatment, then you really need to treat your infection. After antibiotic treatment, you need to rebalance your uh, kidney and spleen, young energy, because I see result of antibiotic treatment. Uh, the young energy of the kid in the kidney and spleen run very low, then you need to maintain itself. But the uh, kidney young deficiency, you need to go to a local Chinese doctor, somebody uh, expert plus TCM can get you a kidney young formula and can give you a diagnose and probably take about four weeks to recover. Or if you have a spleen deficiency, just uh, the minor problem, you can use the astro garlic. Its Chinese name is called Huang Qi, H U A N G Q I. Right here, that's the Huang Qi. You can buy the extra powder or the raw herb, but if you buy extra powder, you want to find the company they are very reliable. This is Suntan Laboratory, original from Taiwan, and they are in California for 30 years. They are the older Chinese herbal company that make uh, extra powder. Or you can buy raw herb. Raw herb is make sure if they got lab tests, like no heavy metal and no pesticide. See, the, the, you have a powder each time, ashwagala powder is the 3 gram, mixed with half cup of warm water and drink. You can do it twice a day, 3 gram. Then we do it gram about 1 teaspoon. 1 teaspoon about equal to 3 gram. Or you have a measure spoon, 1 scope, 1 gram, either way. Uh, or you can have a scale to measure 3 gram each time or it measure by a teaspoon, one teaspoon twice a day, mix with half cup of 
warm water like about four hours of the warm water and drink twice a day but also this astral gala can be used for prevent like flu like it's you somebody's uh, immune system weak uh, have flu too often you can before the flu season you can take uh, like two week of astral gala each time two week each treatment then so be not take something that's forever in traditional Chinese medicine we never recommend any herb take for every day for a lifetime or over years it's overtake it can be uh, dangerous too but you something natural but you not overtake it that's fine just take two weeks but you really need it if spring deficiency you need to take longer you can take three months six months but normally for for prevent flu you just take two weeks to be good for a couple months also it's a Food too can be balance your energy too. If your body is a uh, cold, you need something warm. That means your body is a uh, in defense, young deficiency. Your body that means cold. You cannot eat salad because salad make your stomach blow. It then get acid reflux because your stomach needs young energy warm to digest the food. Like that, what need to be heat to cook it, and you overload of ice or salad, then the stomach not working no more. That's why your stomach get egg and upset stomach as it reflect. Then you need to change your diet. Drink ginger tea, warm water, no ice, no salad, cook vegetable. And my your stomach is too hot, you need to eat salad or drink juice to cool down. That's called number one important question in your life. Every day is who am I? And your body might at some point change. Don't attach to it. That's why stay in a moment. You see, I deal with uh, many autoimmune disease problem, Crohn's disease, and uh, another one called painful bladder symptom. People bladder very painful and difficult to pee, and that's a very serious problem. Some women is too painful; they cannot handle. They uh, ask the doctor to remove their bladder organ. They lost the organ. See that's because they what anything they try anything not not working for them then remove the organ. But that's actually you have to learn about what is the root cause and what you can do for yourself. But you know the root cause. The root cause is killed. Like uh, example, some of the case is uh, the reaction to the antibiotic, and they come to me. They suffer for ten years, and after two months of my treatment, I train them, but I treat them, uh, then they get better, no no more symptoms. I tell them next time you have flu, be careful, you uh, rather go to a naturopathic doctor, the local doctor to take natural medicine for your flu or infection, because antibiotic can cause problem. And after three years, this lady forgot, forgot what I was saying because it's life so too busy, not focused. That's why I have to be still and training, get to know who you are. He, she forgot, then she have a flu, she have fever, then prescribe, go to the regular doctor, prescribe antibiotic, take only one week, then the painful bladder come back after three years. Then she come back to see me second time for help. Then after second time, say, remember she was now, you know what I'm talking about. You experience yourself. At least you will learn a lesson from that. Then since then, uh, she when she have flu or fever, she go get sex. She have problems. She go to a naturopathic doctor to get natural medicine to help the infection. Then since then, the painful bladder symptom not come back. Then you have to learn what is the root cause. And everyone look root cause may be different. Someone may be just from over stress or overtake uh, the garbage food, what I mean low quality food, the food, the meat, there's overload, and have on it, and eat too much meat. 
and the body, she even gets side effect from the food they eat. And that's a chemical in the food. A preservative can cause problem. Like you eat too much canned food, that preservative can do the same side effect like the antibiotic. Any chemical is the cause of disease. But that's the cause of disease, root cause of autoimmune disease is two. Recent one is always long term stress, mess up the immune system. Second, also overload, over intake chemical in food or prescription. And you have to know who you are and what is root cause because everyone root cause is different. That's why I believe uh, the ancient Chinese medicine way is the doctor's job is 30%, the patient 70%, and doctor is a teacher. And patient have to be a student to learn. Actually, you, in the long run, you learn the lesson, you know what's going on with your body. You find a root cause, then you see you don't know root, root cause, that's why you fear, because you don't know. Hope you can uh, learn something today, and if you want to learn more with me, want to become a long-term student, even just for self-healing or to help teach your pa parents, children, brother, sister, uh, self-care, because this is no one else can do it for you. You have to take over your power and learn. You learn uh, about to let go, let, let go of stress, about what is good for you, what is good not for you, not for you. And everyone is diet should be different too, because your body in young different. You want to learn more regularly, you can join my Wu Healing Group online. I teach four class a week. Monday, 10 p.m. before bedtime meditation. Tuesday, 9.30, teach Qigong. Wednesday morning, 8 a.m., teach uh, Qigong for immune system. Saturday, 7 a.m., meditation. Saturday, 8 to 9 a.m., teach Qigong. Hope see you again in next class. Have a good day.